Welcome to Microsoft Access 2013 Beginner Level 1, brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. My name is Richard Rost, and I'm happy to present this 12-part tutorial series for free here on YouTube. This video is the introduction to the course, and will explain who this course is for and what topics are covered. If you want to skip this introduction, click on the link shown to begin Lesson 1 now. This class is for the beginner who has little or no experience building Microsoft Access databases. This is the introductory course in our Microsoft Access series and is designed to teach you the absolute basics of how to build a database. If you've never used Access before, then you're in the right place. Start with this course. However, even if you've been working with Access for some time, you will still benefit from taking this course. Even expert or advanced users will pick up a few tips and tricks from these lessons. Our goal for today is to get you up and running as quickly as possible building your first Microsoft Access database. We'll begin by learning some terminology, the benefits of using a database, and we'll cover the various components of Microsoft Access. You will learn how to properly plan out your database and determine the different tables, queries, forms, and reports that you'll need. We'll go over the Microsoft Access design interface, including the ribbon menu, you will learn how to build your very first table to track customers. You'll learn about the different types of data that you can store in table fields and about primary keys. You will learn how to enter data into your table, edit that data, and how to work with records. We'll see how to sort and filter our data. Then you'll learn how to build a couple of different queries to display information from your tables in different ways. You'll construct a form to provide a nice user-friendly interface for working with data on the screen. And you'll learn how to generate printable reports including a customer list and mailing labels. This course is designed to be used with Microsoft Access 2013. If you are using Access 2010 or 2007, you shouldn't have any problems following along as the three versions are very similar. We do have a different version of this course recorded specifically for Access 2010. So if you're using that version, please feel free to contact us for a free copy. If you're using Access 2003 or earlier, you will find the program interface significantly different. Access changed a lot from version 2003 to 2007. We do have older lessons for 2003 and before on our website at accesslearningzone.com. As I mentioned earlier, this is the introductory course for Microsoft Access, but you should already have a basic working knowledge of Microsoft Windows before starting these lessons. You should know how to use the keyboard and mouse, start programs, maximize and minimize windows, use scroll bars, understand the difference between the backspace and delete keys, and so on. If any of these concepts seem unfamiliar to you, then you should go to my website at accesslearningzone.com and look for my Windows Beginner Tutorials. Optionally, it is helpful, but not required, to know how to use Microsoft Word and Excel before learning Access. Many of the basic concepts taught in Word and Excel will help you to understand Access. A basic familiarity with the ribbon, editing and formatting text, using the clipboard, using rows and columns in a spreadsheet, will help you when it comes to learning Access. If you're going to learn to use all three programs, Word, Excel, and Access, I recommend you learn them in that order, Word first, then Excel second, and then finally Access. Word processing and spreadsheets are easier to learn than databases, so if you have a choice, start with those first, then move up to Access. I have tutorials for all three programs on my website at accesslearningzone.com. My courses are broken up into four groups, Beginner, Expert, Advanced, and Developer. My Beginner courses are for novice users who have little or no experience with Microsoft Access. They're designed to give you an overview of the basic features of Access and to cover just what you need to know to be productive. The Expert courses are designed for more experienced users who are already comfortable with Access. Expert classes go into a lot more depth about each topic than the Beginner classes and we cover more functions, features, tips, tricks, and techniques for power users. When you've mastered the expert classes, move up to the advanced lessons. You'll learn how to work with events, 
macros, automation, and many more advanced features that really add enhanced functionality and professionalism to your databases. Finally, my developer level courses are designed to teach you how to program in Visual Basic for Microsoft Access. This will allow you to create the most advanced databases possible and unlock the full potential of Microsoft Access. Each of my series are broken down into different numbered levels, starting with level 1, this class. Each subsequent level teaches you new and different topics in Microsoft Access, building on the lessons learned in the previous classes. When you've finished all the beginner classes, move up to the Expert Series, then Advanced, then finally Developer. In addition to my normal Access classes, I also have seminars designed to teach specific topics. Some of my seminars include building web-based databases, creating forms and reports that look like calendars, securing your database, working with images and attachments, writing work orders and running a service business, tracking accounts payable, learning the SQL programming language, creating loan amortization schedules, and lots more. You can find details on all of these seminars and more on my website at accesslearningzone.com. If you have questions about the topics covered in today's lessons, please feel free to post them in my student forums. If you're watching this course in the online theater on my website, you should see the student forum for each lesson appear in a small window next to the class video. Here, you will see all of the questions that other students have asked, as well as my responses to them and comments that other students have made. I encourage you to read through these questions and answers as you start each lesson, and feel free to join in the discussion. If you are not watching these lessons on my website, you can still visit the student forums later by visiting accesslearningzone.com slash forums. To get the most out of this course, I recommend you sit back, relax, and watch each lesson completely through once without trying to do anything on your computer. Then, replay the lesson from the beginning and follow along with my examples. Actually create the same database that I make in the video step by step. Don't try to apply what you're learning right now to other projects until you've mastered the sample database from class. If you get stuck or don't understand something, watch the video again from the beginning or tell me what's wrong in the student forum and I'll do my best to help you. Most importantly, keep an open mind. Access may seem intimidating at first, but once you get the hang of it, you'll see that it's real easy to use. Now I strongly encourage you to build the database that I build in today's class by following along with the videos. However, if you would like to download a sample copy of my finished database file, you can find it on my website at accesslearningzone.com slash databases. Sometimes if you get stuck, the easiest way to learn is to tear apart someone else's database. One of the ways that I taught myself access years ago was by tearing apart the Northwind Traders database that comes with Microsoft Access. You'll find there's a sample database for each of my courses on my website. Now let's take a few minutes and go over exactly what we're going to cover in today's class. In lesson one, we're going to learn about database terminology. You'll learn what a database is, and you'll learn about the parts of an access database, including tables, queries, forms, and reports. In lesson two, we'll discuss planning your database. What tables do you need? What fields should go in each table? What do you want your forms and reports to look like? In lesson three, we're going to learn about the different parts of the Microsoft Access interface. In lesson four, we're going to begin building our customer table to store customer information. In lesson five, we're continuing to work with our customer table and we'll learn about primary key fields. In lesson six, we'll begin to enter data into our customer table. In lesson seven, we'll learn more about data entry. In lesson eight, we'll learn how to sort and filter the data in our tables. In lesson nine, we're going to learn how to build queries, which allow us to see the data in tables in different ways. We'll learn how to sort on multiple fields and apply a criteria to our queries. In lesson 10, we're going to build a customer form so we can present our end user with a nice friendly interface for working with data. In lesson 11, we'll build a couple of different customer reports 
including mailing labels. Now we're ready to get started, so click on the link to begin Lesson 1 now.